All right, folks, Tuesday morning. Here's the quick and dirty for what's going on in the market. So markets in the red heading into the open, the equity markets, Dow Jones, S&P, NASDAQ, all trading lower, still no stimulus package. A lot of discussion, a lot of back and forth between Republicans and Democrats. Right now we have that $900 billion package, dollar package from last week that we can't come to an agreement on. Uh, Mitch McConnell throws another package out that's smaller than a $900 billion package yesterday. All in all, still nothing done. Everybody's still waiting for this package to get over the finish line, seeing pressure on the markets as a result of that. Now, the action right now is in FX and it's in cable or that pound dollar. Brexit negotiations are hanging by a thread uh, across the pond right now. Uh, Boris Johnson is flying out to Brussels uh, to try and get this deal, this trade arrangement between the EU and the UK done, or at least get something moving in the right direction. As a result of this uncertainty, you're seeing that pound dollar all over the place over the past, let's call it 24 hours, 36 hours. Um, traded as high as one spot 34 yesterday, sold off down to one spot 32. Now we're back up above one spot 33 as we stand right now. A lot of whipsaw action in that pound dollar, and it will likely continue that way, at least for the next couple days, heading into uh, that Europe, uh, European Central Bank meeting that takes place on Thursday. So we do have a rate policy decision with the ECB um, this week, uh, European summit meeting this week. So a lot going on with that pound dollar relationship and also some likely volatility in the euro dollar as well. So let's go out there today. Let's get after it. I'll check in with you folks again tomorrow. Make sure you follow us on Twitter, Facebook, uh, and all the other social media channels. We'll keep you updated throughout the day. Take care folks.